And you got to remember, this is one movie, and it's meant to be seen one through six. So I think when you watch the actual movie in order, the story will become very clear that Anakin is the chosen one. You refer to the prophecy of the one who will bring balance to the Force. Part of it was scary because, you know, I care about it so much. Part of it was it's, it's an ending not of three films, but of nine films. The prophecy is that Anakin will bring balance to the Force and destroy the Sith. But this movie had a very weird responsibility. It had to be the end of not just three movies, but nine movies. Mm -hmm. And the idea of having to incorporate the stories that have come before. Darth Vader does destroy the Sith, meaning himself and the Emperor. So the prophecy is true. No one's ever really gone. <laughs> because, as you know, um, Darth Vader shut me down that tunnel. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's the end. I, 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 I said to him, is, is he? And before I could finish the sentence, he went, dead, yes. <laughs> well, couldn't he perhaps? No. <laughs> He's dead. But it, wouldn't it be interesting if... Forget it. Let's talk about what you've done. Shall we? Palpatine? What? Palpatine? I know. How? <laughs> oh no, I just had a terrible idea. Awesome. If Palpatine never died, then Lucasian balance was never restored. Which means they got the prophecy wrong. Which means that Rey is probably the real chosen one. Nah, it's Kilo. He will finish what Vader started. It would explain why everything comes so effortlessly for her. Anakin was the fake chosen one just ultra-powered because he was born of the Force. And Rey is the real deal. I mean, could go either way, I guess. Even worse, Rey is Palpatine's daughter, created by the Medichlorians. He's trying again. He likes to knock up random peasants on Sandy Worlds for his experiments. Palpatine created Anakin. He was a false chosen one. Oh no, this is all too plausible. Palpatine, knowing of the prophecy, creates a super-powerful Force child by manipulating midi-chlorians in order to cheat destiny. Anakin is assumed to be the chosen one due to this, but the Jedi were fooled as none of them knew what Palpatine did. Palpatine, being obsessed with immortality, also had many backup schemes to come back from death, one of which we will see in this episode. However, in an evil genie Twilight Zone style twist, Palpatine, by creating Anakin and killing the Jedi, also created the very imbalance the prophecy was about, and set in motion the events leading up to the actual Chosen One, Rey. She literally is a nobody from nowhere, who was chosen by the Force to restore balance by ending Vader's legacy, Kilo, and Palpatine's legacy, the First Order, as well as finally bringing an end to Palpatine himself. The Skywalker family, rather than being the Chosen, are part of the imbalance. This all tracks... Oh, dang the Skywalkers are a part of the imbalance? They are the Senate. I mean, imbalance. This stabs Star Wars in the heart worse than The Last Jedi, and it all makes sense. Search your feelings. You know you want this to be true. Yes, so I can completely disown the sequel trilogy with a clean conscience. 